Very unique program here, Nick. This is the second year they've had market days in the North Kansas City School District. So three of the four high schools are doing this. Today, we're at Winnetonka High School. Step right up. Hey, you want a Christmas ornament with a Winnetonka logo on it? You can buy it here today. Hayden and his crew, they are selling these ornaments. And first of all, you had to take out a loan from the Educational Foundation. So how much money did you guys take out? We took out $147 and some change. So you have to pay all that back by the end of today? Yeah. And you're going to do it by selling ornaments? Yes. You think you'll uh, make enough profit? Yeah, we only have to sell about 35 or 40 ornaments to do that. Okay, so how did you make these ornaments? We, bought, we bought blank ornaments from Amazon, and then we printed them on with blank paper, or vinyl paper. Okay, so like stickers, and then you hand, you hand put them on, you put the ribbon on. Why did you decide Christmas ornaments? We, everyone was told to do festive themed, and we thought everyone loves ornaments because you can buy them for everyone. Right, and because they're Winnetonka ornaments, you think, who's your audience? Winnetonka people. <laughs> right, Winnetonka students. So good luck to you. I want to talk with Reagan. You guys are selling hats. So why did you decide hats? Uh, because we are in high school, and we walk around our high school, you see many like kids with beanies and stuff like that, just to go with the outfits or just to like be warm and stuff like that. So yeah, we decided beanies. So when you were trying to decide what product to sell, you were really looking at kind of the demand. What's the demand from your classmates? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So how did you decide on all these designs? Well, um, I looked up Y2K beanies. Well, we looked up Y2K beanies, and what that is basically like more hip and like up to date beanies. So um, when we picked them out, we just you know looked on like Instagram and. Looked at the students and what they like and what they want to wear. How much was your loan? Uh, Four hundred thirty-seven dollars. Woo! Yeah. But you're selling the beanies for ten, twelve, thirteen. You think you're going to make enough money today? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Do you really know what Y2K is? No. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. They're too young. We remember Y2K, right, Nick? Uh, yeah. The year 1999 turned to 2000, by the way. All, all the computers were supposed to explode. Uh, Midori uh, is joining me right now. You are with the Educational Foundation. Uh, just talk about the life lessons that these kids are learning through this. Yeah, we're really excited to provide this impact grant to the district so students can learn real world skills that they can apply across all careers, anything they want to do in the future. Prior to taking out their loan, they had to uh, make a presentation and pitch their ideas and got feedback from that from other staff and their teachers. And uh, we think they're really set up for success to market it, uh, to promote their businesses, to put together deals, and uh, we're really, really excited about it. And, and finally, how impressed are you with their creativity? I love all the unique uh, items that the students are selling right now. Uh, custom products, uh, all kinds of things that I wouldn't have even thought of that uh, they, they're marketing to their friends. So I'm really, really excited to see them be able to pay back their loans today. I was going to say, you're the bank, so they took the loans out from you. So they actually need to pay it back to you. If, if they don't pay it back, what happens? Sure. So, of course, we hope that they're able to pay back their loans and see how that process works in real life. Um, if they're unable to pay it back today, um, they're going to do some community service hours right here in their school. So really, it's a win-win all the way some around. Some child labor laws <laughs> might have uh, some hard labor for these kids. I think they'll learn how to give back to their school and show some school pride with that, too. So either way, we think it's a success. All right, Midori, thank you very much. So, I mean, look, what are these? These are for Crocs, right? Like, like, look at these. Got, got all sorts of cool things, guys. So here's what's happening. The students throughout the day, uh, passing periods, lunchtime, they're going to come down here and they're going to try to sell all these things and pay back those loans. But what a great life lesson, you know, when it comes to taking out a loan, starting a business, all things they can take with them later in life.